For years I walked by these big trees and I thought that that would be a perfect spot for a treehouse. There's a little seasonal creek that runs right by it. It has a forest view with a little peekaboo of Mount Index. The tree frame totally changed the business at Index Cabins. Welcome to the next generation of hospitality entrepreneurs. Today we're sitting down with Nick Peach, founder and creator of Index Cabins, a gorgeous collection of cabins and unique stays just an hour north of Seattle. Hi, I'm Nick Peach, and I'm the founder and creator of Index Cabins. This place obviously is very special to me. My wife and I bought the first couple lots of land back in 2010. Our idea was just to have a second uh, property, a cabin outside of the city of Seattle where we could escape. Index Washington is a magical place. It is cut into this extremely sharp valley. You have this granite wall that is world renowned for its rock climbing prowess. Sometimes in the summer, I've seen folks jumping off the sucker with like paragliders. People string a huge slack line across from one rock to the other rock, literally walk through across hundreds of feet between these two granite cliffs. First two buildings that we now call Amos and Persis. They looked completely different. <laughs> Six shades of brown, rolling floors, terrible bathroom. It took us a, a year and a half or so to fix those up and then refinance them so that I could scrape together enough cash to get O'Neill and the end of the road. Are you ever scrolling through Instagram and you see these beautiful Airbnbs and think to yourself, how the heck did these hosts afford to furnish their spaces so elegantly? Well, I wondered that too, but that's before I knew that there's a secret that the best short-term rental hosts have access to. And that secret is none other than Minoan. Minoan is a completely free, easy to use platform that enables you to buy everything that you need for your short-term rental at incredibly discounted rates. We're talking about discounts that you can't get anywhere else. So sign up for Minoan in the comments below, create your totally free account and start saving hundreds and even thousands of dollars on couches, parachute sheets, bedding, everything that you might need to get your Airbnb ready to rock. You may or may not know I was a geology major and I ended up working for a jeweler for about six months uh, in Boulder, Colorado named Todd Reed. Makes spectacular, you know, high carat gold and, and black sterling silver jewelry. I think that all my jewelry creativity has poured out into building design. I love looking at Instagram to see lighting concepts, beautiful modern plywood walls, and really anything that catches my eye and is different. I think that background of having some jewelry design is pouring over into the cabin design. It was 2017 when I quit my medical device sales job. The um, new revenues from the short-term rental cabins was solid and uh, it was encouraging to share something, stay local and spend more time with the family and let my creativity explore um, its bounds out here on the river in the woods. One of the first things I did on the property was create some trails in the backwoods on our acreage. And for years I walked by these big trees and I thought that that would be a perfect spot for a treehouse because there's a little seasonal creek that runs right by it. It has a forest view with a little peekaboo of Mount Index. So I eyed it for years. At the point when it became a real business is when I saw the revenues. I mean, they became very clear 40 grand a year for per cabin in you know gross revenue, which was great. And then I guess it, it was just a series of things that lined up uh, for us to be able to go for a bigger, more expensive build. And the tree frame totally changed the business at Index Cabins. I always loved tree houses. As a kid growing up, we had a little tree house that my stepdad, uh, Scott, helped me build in our Northeast Seattle house. 
Uh, my kids harped on me for years to do a tree house in our backyard, which I did shortly after the Clay Baby build was complete. And I guess that was kind of my getting my feet wet for tree houses. I contacted the Nelson Treehouse boys and with more encouragement from Scott Atkins there uh, with Nelson, they sold me the hardware and we were off to, off to running on that. <laughs> One of the questions we get asked a lot is, is a unique stay actually worth the investment? So we asked Nick, who has both unique stays and also more traditional cabins, what he thought about the business side of building and running a unique short-term rental. The success of the tree frame is its uniqueness. I think it might be the only A-frame suspended just by trees that I've ever seen. I, I don't know. There could be one out there, I just have not seen it yet, and I'm on Instagram way too much. The tree frame was complete in August of 21. My wife made me promise not to start a new build for a year. I was down in Palm Springs thinking about a short-term rental down there. And at the time, I think it was 22, the prices were so high still, like a million bucks to get a house with a pool. You know, I'm up here on property once a week. So my passion and work pours through in, in the short-term rentals. And if, um, if I wasn't there, I'm not sure it would work and certainly the, the revenues would be lower. So I looked at Palm Springs, that kind of fizzled out. I looked at kind of that inflatable dome thing, like how's that gonna hold up to weather? Looked at yurts, it's just like, I don't know. I don't know about a yurt. I, I, I came up upon an incredible photo on Instagram of a heavily cantilevered container home and it, it was just beautiful to me. So that that was the new, that was the inspo shot. I think the seed containers were purchased in uh, nine months, so I was close. I love the tree house for a date night, but if you want to come hang out and, and chill with some friends and party, the seed containers is the spot, man. Sonos speakers throughout, the steam shower with a speaker in it, and then you got a hot tub. The tree house build was about 200 grand to get everything built and connected and then the sea containers was more than that more, closer to 250. i think just because of the finishes and and um, a few more subs with drywall and things like that and the expensive stereo system in terms of revenue generation it's not too hard to calculate that my the rates you can look up online <laughs> the tree frames ba low base rate is 483 per night and that's you know before fees and cleaning fees. So it's booking like still like 86, 90, 90%. We've done great. It's, it's been wonderful. Pricing short-term rentals, it's not too complicated, right? Like if, if nobody comes, you price too high. If you're 30 days booked a month, you price too low. You work in there and, and I, I think probably landing somewhere in the 80, 90% range is where you, you wanna try to be. You know, the two COVID years were amazing. Like I think probably we can all agree our occupancy rates went up. Even for the smaller, older cabins, occupancy rates were like 80, 90%. I think just cause folks weren't didn't need to be in the office. This year, almost abruptly, right at the new year, that changed. You know, midweek there were lots more vacancies. Our older cabins have dropped to more like the 60, 50, 60 percent range. And then the two new cabins are still up at the 80, 80%, 80, 90 percent range. And the tree frame is an Instagram famous Airbnb. And we asked Nick a little bit about how he's worked with influencers and creators to help market his short term rentals. I really have always loved marketing, even when I was in sales uh, back with J&J. &J. I have been at the influencer game for a while now. What I really value is when an influencer approaches with some humility. Maybe not just going for the jugular like, hey, can I get a weekend stay at the treehouse for me to create beautiful pictures of your cabin? It's like, pfft, I got billions of beautiful pictures of the cabin. I don't need you to come, you know, stay for free. I, I think it's definitely important um, if you need good photos for Airbnb and VRBO or your website, certainly do stay trades. I think that's very worth it. But in terms of like trying to grow followers just from uh, an influencer stay, I'm not sure that's very impactful. 
Now Nick's built this collection of beautiful cabins and more unique stays, but we were curious about what other projects he might have in the works. Here's what Nick says about the future of his brand and his business. In terms of dreams to do other builds, certainly. I mean, right now I'm definitely in a kind of rest, recoup, uh, pay down my loan mode, but um, I love to have a warm getaway. I would definitely be interested in something in a warmer climate, but man, it's so hands-on to do a build like the sea containers or the tree frame. I, I can't fathom doing something where I'm not on, on site. So I think any, any spot on water, close to a city, but not too close, you know, something out a little bit so it's rural, it, you'll never lose with that sort of investment. If you can find lots of land or even an old cabin on, on a piece of land, but its uniqueness is what draws people, you know, in anything, right? Like, variety is a spice of life. In my humble opinion, the secret to making short-term rentals work is when you put forth good effort and you pour love and kindness into the property that you'll be sharing with others, the only result is that they will feel that energy and enjoy their stay. If you enjoyed this video, I invite you to like, comment, and subscribe to Behind the Stays. And if you want to book a stay at any of the index cabins that we featured in today's episode, you can do so in the description below. Oh, and if you're looking for incredible last minute deals on beautiful short-term rentals like the tree frame and the sea containers, be sure to subscribe to Sponsaneous.com where we send the best last minute deals and upcoming steals on Airbnb to your inbox twice a week.